Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 5 of Horror History Class. I'm Mr. Mac, and today we cover a very important film. No joke, this film has stood the test of time, and its legacy cannot be overlooked in the slightest. Ladies and gentlemen, gals and ghouls, the man who made a monster. Today, we cover 1931's Frankenstein. Now pay attention students, class is in session. Okay, where to even begin? There's just so much to say, so little time on this silly web show. I can't begin to cover all my bases here, but we can try. Universal Pictures really hit the nail on the coffin with this 1931 classic monster movie. It was the number one film that year at the box office. And to this day, people still love this film. Just look at all the iconic things that appear in this movie. We have the image of a mad scientist and henchman digging up bodies in the graveyard, the angry villagers roaming the streets looking for a monster, then of course we have the monster, who's an absolute pop culture icon. Every single person I have ever met knows who that is. What a total legend. A legend that was almost completely different by the way. Bella Lugosi of Dracula fame was originally intended to play the monster in the film. A little guy named Boris Karloff plays the monster. And Boris Karloff was just a stage name. His full name was actually William Henry Pratt. And Universal actually kept that a secret until the premiere of the film. It was revealed at the premiere that Karloff was going to play the monster, and in fact not Lugosi. They even kept it a surprise until the end of the movie. In the opening credits, the audience was met with a question mark instead of a name, which only helped to build the suspense. It wasn't until the end of the film that we see Boris Karloff's name flash across the screen. So, coming off a hot little film called Dracula in 31, Universal Pictures ushered in the golden age of monster movies with this film. It was directed by James Whale, and it started the monster train of rolling. Dracula, the Wolfman, Creature from the Black Lagoon, they are all classics now. These early monster movies really did it for the people and Universal was living high on the monster hog. The classic look of the monster that we have now with the flat head and the bolts sticking out of his neck and all that was created by special effects legend and pioneer Jack Pierce. Jack Pierce did lots of famous makeups and created lots of techniques that had never been made before, but it was not easy to get all that makeup on and off. It took over four hours to apply on Karloff, and he often slept in it so he could continue shooting later or even the next day. Now. Marilyn Harris played Maria in the famous scene where the monster picks her up and throws her in the lake. An equally beautiful and sad scene indeed. Director James Wales actually had her thrown into the water to do the drowning scene several times. After she did the scene to his liking, he said she could have whatever she wanted. And what she wanted was one dozen hard-boiled eggs, her favorite snack. Wales gave her two dozen. That's so nice. She was only seven years old, but to everyone's surprise, she ran to Boris Karloff in full makeup and said to him, May I drive with you? And Karloff replied with a, Would you, darling? And they rode off to the set together, just a girl and her monster friend. Just wonderful. Karloff also told her that if she was ever frightened to look at his pinky, He developed a small habit of wiggling his pinky just off camera so that she could see him waving to her. Monster outside, soft fuzzy inside, just like his on-screen persona. So at the premiere, the typical cast and crew were about, but some of them were missing. You guessed it, Boris Karloff was not at the premiere. He was not even invited. He was not really a well-known actor at the time, so they didn't think to invite him, but that changed forever after this film. He became a huge success. Honestly, what's left to say it hasn't been said. It's an absolute classic that has stood the test of time and burrowed its way deep into our psyche. It's a thumbs up from me. Go check it out. Monsters need love too, you know. Now class, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on what films you would like to study next. See you next time. Class dismissed.